From Cremo Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Mining contractor Marion Roberts Cementation in mid-March showcased its mock-up mine and other training facilities for underground mechanized mining operators, supervisors and engineers at its Bentley Park Training Academy in Coltonville. Molinay Arnoldi visited the site. Murray and Roberts Cementation offers training across the full value chain of mechanized mining, with trainees typically starting with e-learning and theoretical work before moving to virtual reality exercises, emergency drills and real machine operation in underground simulated conditions. The Murray and Roberts training facility prides itself on upholding stringent safety standards throughout every module and stage of training it offers. While real machinery is used for training in the mock-up mine, laser lights are used on the rock face for simulated blasting practices, as are alternative gel-based products mixed to mock emulsions used for blasting. The mock-up mine accurately simulates real underground mechanized mining conditions, specifically board and pillar operations. It also features painted geological conditions to teach learners about risky strata control scenarios and solutions. The simulated training environment provides an opportunity to develop the softer skills or silent competencies such as heat endurance, workplace appreciation and calm demeanours during an emergency that an underground mine employee needs and would typically only get exposure to through real mining conditions with real safety risks, production delays and higher costs at stake if errors occur. Marianne Roberts Cementation Education Training and Development Executive Tony Pretorius tells us more. One of the things that one needs to really take cognizance of is, um, you know, operating in the real world from scratch is often not preferred um, for a number of obvious reasons. Um, you know, trying to accomplish training in a production environment is, is rather challenging. Um, you know, often you need to have face-to-face -face interaction. Um, the technology that we use um, is better preferred that students um, go through utilizing this technology in a structured learning environment. Um, machines are expensive to run, uh, hence simulators are a lot more cheaper um, to, to, to work with to arrive at your desired end result. Um, virtual reality, uh, 2D, 3D modeling, those are all types of programs that one can utilize to accelerate training in a learning environment where um, your learners can actually actively take part um, with a uh, subject matter expert within reach. Um, take for example, as I mentioned earlier, with a simulator you would have a subject matter expert, an experienced operator, coaching a learner um, while they are physically manipulating the controls in that environment, which will not be able to be accomplished in a production um, standard environment. The risks are also quite high when you introduce novices, particularly into the space of training, um, particularly if you go into a production environment, one needs to understand that legislation is quite clear around the requirements that before you can assign a task to a person you need to consider those capabilities. Hence training is it's absolutely paramount that training take place in a, uh, an approved working environment um, coupled to a um, conducive um, learning environment. What distinguishes the Murray and Roberts Training Academy from that of others in the industry is its training of novices, which caters well to the 50% local employment requirement that mining companies often have to adhere to. Local employees often have no experience or skills in underground mechanized mining, which the Training Academy's seasoned experts are well equipped to remedy in a reasonable time frame. Pretorius explains. Training novices is one of our uh, um, it's part of our business, um, you know, where we operate, we are often asked to um, consider novice, uh, novice people from the local community into certain positions and uh, entry positions I'm referring to now, uh, the likes of your uh, secondary type mechanized operators and, uh, you know, general construction hands and engineering uh, um, aids and assistance. Um, so what, what we have experienced is we, because we are a contracting company, have quite extensive um, experience in that space, 
because that is the nature of our business. It's what we are faced with, is, is developing novices from really raw into, as I mentioned, entry positions. And there's a, there's a specific way one accomplishes that. And, um, and again, the technology that we introduce in our extended reality framework allows us to, to do that in a reasonable time period as well. You are able to you know, touch base with all the elements of competence from foundational, reflexive and practical competence and gradually build using our situational leadership approach, novices into well-groomed entry level type positions. Um, yeah, so, so our, our track record extending over particularly the last 10 years um, has given us that opportunity to, to gain that experience with novices. The facility's holistic training experience, including accommodation, a wellness clinic, meals and behavioural guidance, ensures trainees can be enthusiastic and focus on the tasks at hand. The facility can accommodate 450 trainees at a time and offer customised modules to the skills development they require. This includes students from various universities. The mock-up mine comprises a 3.5 meter high structure covering 1,125 square meters, providing the sensory experience required for developing muscle memory in the real-life workplace. The learners experience the full value chain of mechanized mining activity from waiting place meetings, entry exam and safety declaration through to phase preparation, marking, drilling, charging, blasting and installation of support structures. The company often assists unemployed youth to train up learners to meet incoming skills demand in the industry, which the Trading Academy has had a solid success rate with. Pretorius elaborates on the company's training offering and the importance of training for impact. We are very unique in our service offering. Um, as, a, as a contracting company, we um, build mines, um, we construct mines, that's, that's the nature of our work and um, therefore we are well positioned to train shaft sinking, um, mechanized mining, conventional mining, engineering, um, mining services. Uh, when I refer to mining services, everything from exploration drilling to grout plants to raised drilling, drop raising and the like. Um, and then of course we, we, we offer within the backdrop to all of those technical skills the relevant safety and health uh, skills programs as well. And um, you know, so we are well positioned to take, for example, students from a university through the wider value chain of, of mining and give them exposure to all those elements of learning. You know. So what I'm extremely proud of is we, we live our company values. Um, it, it, it's absolutely important that you, you do that at this facility because this is where employees start their journey with the organization. And um, one of the unique offerings, well, let me rather say one of the unique behaviors that we instill in the business is, is that of, of respect. We have a genuine care for our learners. We have a genuine respect. We find that, you know, when you treat a learner with uh, a dignified respect, you will, you will earn their respect. And uh, once there's mutual respect in the classrooms and, and in the workplaces, you find that training will prevail and training for impact occurs a lot, a lot better. Um, so we have a culture, I would say a first choice culture at our facility, um, because we've got to appreciate that we have learners from all the different regions. And one needs to be mindful and respectful of their traditions, their customs, their beliefs, um, and their cultures. And uh, so I've got an amazing team. Um, I've, I've really got uh, world-class subject matter experts that just really make it happen for us here in that space. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.